screwed in this. <laughs> <laughs> what was, so, Paul, you laid that trap down. Are you waiting, is that a trap that can like trap a zombie? No, it's a rabbit trap. A rabbit trap, okay, so you can come back there and get food from it. Yeah, if you get stranded out in the woods and you're desperate, you can build these little rabbit traps. So he's saying, if you get desperate out in the woods, you can put these little rabbit traps and then come back to them and they'll have food. Yeah. And uh, just one of the things that you can craft in the game. And, uh, oh, it actually caught one. Pretend oh, there you go. Pretend, pretend a rabbit. rabbit ran. Yeah, pretend <laughs> a rabbit ran in there. There you go. You got some food. Um, but we will have wildlife in the game that simulates that, like a rabbit or a wolf, uh, a uh, deer, you know, whatever else we've been talking about wanting in the game. What would you guys want to see in the game for wildlife? Yeah, once again, a hashtag H1Z1 design. Make sure you're tweeting your questions, suggestions, and everything else on there, whether it's regarding um, this particular feature or general gameplay questions. Today, we're going to try to stick to a lot of what we're working on for this feature. It is the, uh, I guess, topic of the day. Nice. Um, so here in a little bit, we'll have a progress report after this play that's test. The most, that's the most badass way to light a campfire, by the way, is to just take a torch that's on fire. Well, it's not even like, like smack it, and then it just lights on fire. Right, it's not oh, even like you just hold it he to it. Uh, got attention to the zombies. Man, this is... Paul, you need to make a friend. You need like a dude to, you need an ally. I tried to make one of them earlier and he shot me. Oh, yeah, so that's true. He tried to make one earlier I'm, and he shot I'm paying attention to chat. You asked the question, what would they like to see as far as they want to see Godzilla, pandas, ants, bears, birds, wow. sharknadoes, Bigfoot, flying unicorns, <laughs> dude, dinosaurs, I love all these ideas. and giraffes. I think I covered it all. Flying unicorns, Godzilla, uh, sharknado. <laughs> This is. <laughs> I would play that game. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> so, sorry, well, I'm still reading. Go ahead. So I'm just talking about the big part of the game. Like I know we try to focus on the zombies here, but a big part of the game is also survival and in, in the wilderness, being able to live in the forest with your uh, wildlife. You know, getting uh, logs to craft, building your shed up. You know, uh, uh, basically just surviving. Um, is also a huge part. Yeah, I mean, it is, it's the biggest part of the game, realistically. I mean, yeah. hunting is oh, going to be a thing uh, in our game. That is how you're going to have to make your way around the world and be able to survive. It's not always going to be about just finding a can of food or just going out and finding, you know, things in a house. Like, you are going to have to scavenge your way around occasionally. Yeah, for sure. And as you see, Paul gets a, a vehicle, which isn't a big deal. I mean, he has to go pretty far into the world. Like I said, we've only mainly put uh, major roadways down, the trees, a few camps here and there, uh, but we still have a lot of major POIs to flesh out uh, in the game, and a lot of just little mini camps and stuff. So uh, rather than having him run around forever, it's easy for him to just get in a vehicle to show you some more of the world. Sure. Um, but imagine as you're going through here, seeing like a gas station's pit stop on the right, maybe a motel, maybe a fast food joint, and then you roll up to another mini town. You know, this is all the things that we need to put into the game along the roads, um, as well as as you can see this wildlife going see on the guy sides here. He just, uh, he just, killed, he just a killed a wolf. That was awesome. Um, I'm not going to help him. <laughs> he's not gonna help he him. said he's not going to help him in like his book. Did. But uh, just, uh, just understand now that uh, it's definitely going to, as the game progresses, you're going to see the world get built up more and more. So, For sure. Um, a lot of people in here asking about different gameplay styles and how we'll be supporting those. Realistically, once again, guys, this is a hardcore game. This is what this is about. This is a survival game, just like the others you've seen. You know, the, the guys that really inspired us to help make this game. And there will, we have had the talks about having the different rule sets of servers. The exact options there have not been fleshed out as of yet, but there are possibilities there for us to support different types of modes. Yeah, for sure. Um, and that's something that I was really excited about, honestly, as a player, because I have de very different play styles. Uh, I personally, this is just my personal opinion, like to play in first person. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I don't really like to play in third person. I don't know if that's because I have a first person shooter background and I don't like getting killed from people that can see me. I don't, you know, like that whole type of mindset. So, I mean, I think we're, I think it's really awesome that we're being open about the players, sure. what they want and, you know, having having uh, the options available if, if enough people want that type of gameplay. And I think you just pissed all those zombies off. Uh, as a matter of fact, just the other day, uh, we were implementing a uh, new feature with the zombie behaviors and stuff, and uh, something bugged out during the play test. I cannot remember who it was for the life of me right now, but it was a programmer from another team. We are doing a company-wide play test, and he sent out a message, and he said, stuck zombies at my location. So uh -huh. I dev hacked to him, and I'm standing next <laughs> to him. And there's a group of about 12 zombies standing there. And he, you know, I can't, I'm not talking to him at this point in time. I don't have my VoIP up. Oh, there's a gun in there. I run over and I hit one of the zombies. They all, ex like, just came to life and ran directly after him.
Patrick haven't killed him. One of the best moments I've had so far. <laughs> One of the best bugs I've seen, but that has since been resolved. Paul found some nice loot here. There's a gun on top of that. Oh, M19. Yeah, 1911. Um, I'm not sure if he has the ammo, though. Um, we've actually, a uh, discussion we've been having quite often is uh, the ability to craft ammo versus find and everything. There's obviously um, implementation. Uh, imp Implica implementations, man. Implementations. Implementations. They're implementation yeah. implications. He's, he's <laughs> adding. He's adding ammo right now because currently the only way to get ammo uh, is to craft it. Since we haven't placed it in the world currently. Well, we did um, have some in the world. Did we get rid of it? Uh, I don't. We, you know. Yeah, there's some in the world. There's okay, some there's in the world. Some okay, so there's some in the world. We're still uh, playing with stuff like that. You know, we have to I make sure. Say. You know. That's yeah. all part of the. It's all part of the game. Game development is placing more loot, and what do you place at this loot? You know, what can spawn off these loot spawns? How many do you have in the world? It's all, you know, things that we can tune. Uh, but currently, it looks like he's going to craft a little uh, base here. Yeah, I'm going to take this place over. All right, I um, would let poor Bob, <laughs> H1C1, that's probably Tony over here. Um, <laughs> and if you guys missed it, the uh, community seems to have already named a couple of our zombies. Fred was already there, but Bob has now been named. You guys are incredibly creative. And their Twitters have already been created, and they're already tweeting at it. It's actually pretty funny. We do appreciate all this interaction. <laughs> yeah, we got, I got tweeted by uh, Fred but already. Oh, yeah, Fred sent the picture Fred of uh, the Smed picture. murdering yeah, his family. Fred, Fred, the new zombie, already has a Twitter account, and he sent out a picture of Smed shooting another zombie and said, this is Smed murdering my family. Yeah, which sad is day. funny. Sad day. So it, this barbed wire that you're setting down, the zombies can run into it, and they'll get damaged, right? Yeah, he'll jack players, too. Yeah, it's going to mess up players and zombies. Yeah, and right now, something he's doing, a lot of this is early implementation. So what you're seeing, we have uh, much broader plans for this than what you're seeing right at this moment. We want to show off what we have in-game currently. Yeah. Uh, we talk about the socketing system. There'll be rules on how you can place these things where, and obviously, you'll have to find the materials to craft them, and that will be difficult. That will be fairly difficult to do. Yeah, for sure. And uh, he's going to be brave and snipe the, nah, the zombie. I'm not sniped at... That deer stuck zombie. Is that a new deer? <laughs> Is that the new deer? I, think that's I haven't the new seen the new deer yet. Check it out. Do, 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 floppy. Do. The floppy ears, <laughs> man. <laughs> Them floppy ears, though. <laughs> and once again, uh, a lot of the uh, the systems, the sensory systems of these NPCs you're seeing are uh, constantly being tuned. They've been pulled in and pushed back out. We're trying to look at performance and how far out that they can check without messing with server frame rates, client frame rates, and all that fun stuff. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be pushing them out from where they are now. Things like deer obviously oh. can hear a lot further than other things. Man, that is loud. That's awesome. What just happened? Oh, got some gameplay sounds. Very nice. good. But um, same with the zombies. The aggro range is easily tunable. Um, we're playing with different systems and how we can handle that one. Um, realistically, what you're going to be looking at that is final is the way the zombies are going to interact with you outside of the ranges. Um, mm -hmm. They're obviously wanting to kill you. Their main goal is to eat you. Food is the thing. If there's a dead corpse, they will go after that. If you're just now tuning in, this is a 12-hour stream here at Sony Online Entertainment. We're live here inside our studio, Check inside our uh, or development okay. office for H1Z1. Oh, I'm Jimmy Wisenhunt. Yeah. This is I, Adam Clegg. I am Adam Clegg. I was laughing because after he killed that zombie, it slid down the hill. Uh, it was pretty awesome looking. Whoa! Uh, damage state's not in yet for vehicles. Da yeah, damage state's not in yet for vehicles. <laughs> it's uh, going to be happening. They will be. Yeah. Um, I think it's pretty amazing that we're showing the game off at this such of an early state, to be honest. Like, this is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, it, like, the game comes together more and more every day, but... I can already tell from the last time we showed you and Tom up here, like more, so many more things have been going into the game. I know some players might not be able to pick it up, but I can notice all a bunch of new things that are coming in, and uh, it's just going to get more awesome from there on. It will, and I want to point out there are a couple people in chat saying in San Diego, this is the San Diego studio here. Yeah, come um, on down. Yeah, you're actually welcome to come out here today, uh, 12 to 5. 12 p.m., 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. Pacific time. If you are in the L.A. area or Southern California area, you have no excuse. You can drive down here. I had a guy tweet at me earlier saying that now, he said, oh, great, this is 12 hours. I'm now going to not study and fail uh, my test tomorrow oh, in school. That's too so, bad. I mean, well, if it makes you feel any better, I never went to college. And I mean, look at me now. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. All right, with that note, I'm uh, actually taking a look at the time here. It is right about 11.40. Um, I would like oh. to. Hello. Oh, wow. There's oh, press hey, behind us. What's going on, guys? Where did you come from? You guys hey. are magical. They're waiting to interview you. Oh, I'm oh. so sorry. Awesome. Please forgive. You guys are getting some great content here, though, right? At least yeah. here's some of the answers. Yeah. Questions. Awesome. Good deal. Someone 
keeps asking me about digging and trenches. Have you guys said anything? Um, as far as terrain deformation, not currently planned there. We don't have the voxel based systems like EverQuest Next does. Uh, once again, one of our top priorities is sandbox gameplay performance is there as well. So yeah. um, the amount of destruction you can cause mean, in this game. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that the world designers can't create uh, you know, mine shafts or sure. underground areas. You yeah. know, that's stuff that we can do and we can create. I think this game's more about creating a uh, point of interest like that. Sure. Uh, because when you play these survival games, you tell your friends, oh, let's go to this area, and everyone knows what area that is, right. and then you got to meet up there. Or, hey, I died near this guy. I saw guys. You, you need to be able to point out where you died or what happened to you really relatively quickly, and having major POIs like that actually helps out a lot. Sure. Uh, so. It absolutely does. And I mean, once again, since uh, everything's really gone down in our world of our lore, which we'll talk about a little bit later, um, there obviously have been, uh, you know what, let's just talk about it. In real life, you ever watch Doomsday Preppers? Uh, I haven't caught it, but I know what it is. I mean, realistically, a lot of that stuff is going to end up happening if something like this ever to ever would go oh, yeah. down. You're going to make want to make shelter. That's like the first thing that you need. So you will see a lot of the trenches and that sort of thing, I'm sure, throughout our world where people had put up their last stand. Yeah, definitely. Uh, these are the, the people that are still alive are the lucky ones. Yeah. Um, that was cool. Sick air, bro. Yeah, you got like three feet of air that time. <laughs> um, I'm actually wondering, this is going to be a question for the AV team. I don't know if they're prepared to even answer this. Are we going to be able to do some over-the-shoulder stuff with some of the devs? Or is that... No, we got right. the thumbs up. Can I leave Clegg alone? Do we trust him alone here on yeah, stream? Yeah, leave me. I'm good, dude. I'm just going to say... <laughs> they're they're saying no. He's saying, saying yes. No, I'm, uh, I'm where's fine. Where's our PR staff? Uh, who's, uh, who's in the game right now? What do you mean? Playing. Everybody. The well, whole team, man. Let's see. It's the same thing as every day. 20 people? Okay. Well, I mean, we've got the company, too, I, I think. want to make sure. I'm going to go to the main town. He's going to go over to the main town. You go uh, go bug somebody else who's right. playing the game. I'll, I'll go troll some people. Let's go some Sweet. So while Jim, Jimmy uh, goes and does that, uh, basically what he's going to do is he's going to uh, go to the other people in the offices that you saw earlier and uh, go over the shoulder for them to see how they're playing the game. Um, so you can see other people. I think we're going to have a double shot. Of, uh, we're not going to leave Paul's gameplay here, um, but we're going to be able to show Paul's gameplay and somebody else's gameplay. Am I right? Yes. Okay. Cool. Dude, I really want to jump off that cliff. Jump off the cliff. All Paul's right. saying he really wants to jump off this cliff, so he's getting uh, <laughs> some psychopathic tendencies. Well, here. you were mocking my three foot of air earlier. Oh, he was mock I was mocking the three feet of air, so now he really wants to jump off the cliff. All right, here we go. Oh, Can I even get up there? I don't know. That looks like an awesome rock to jump off, I though. I don't know. Where do you go? Maybe right there. That looks... Okay, let's see. What's the worst that could happen? What's the worst? Yeah, exactly. What is the worst that could happen? This is an empty lot that looks like a warehouse is going to be placed there eventually. Um, and let's see. Oh, it looks like he can make it up there. Dude, this is like Pride Rock. You're you're about to be a newborn king. Uh, here we go. Oh, you're gonna actually try to get up the rock. This is like, look at that. It's look at the suspension drive. on that thing. Amazing. That's amazing. All right, here we go. I'm the king of the world. Oh. No. oh. <laughs> <laughs> you broke the camera. <laughs> I, I crashed. Well, that was awesome. I crashed everything. I'm sorry. It was worth it, though. All right. So, perfectly timed. Jimmy's over here with uh, at Chris Roberts' desk, the vehicle uh, designer that you saw earlier. He's playing on the three monitor setup. Uh, is Jimmy gonna take over now? I found the one vehicle in the natural spawns in the zone. I was super happy. But then you tune the dynamics of the vehicles and you managed to flip it. Well, you know. All right. I won't do that again. But it's good. I found a hunting uh, machete. Yeah. Nice. Wait, was that in yeah. town or was that on one of the outposts? It was like one of the, the outposts. <laughs> but right now I'm looking for enough stuff. I want to get some salt so I can make bandages. Um, got lots of other uh, inventory. So keep an eye on my energy and hydration and stuff. But, uh, so far so good. Very cool. Very very cool. Is this your is this your one life so far? Or have you died? Did you um, die in the vehicle? No, I hopped out. Okay, you managed to get out of that one. <laughs> if it looks like it's gonna explode, it's best to eject. Yeah. 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 Sounds like yeah. a good yeah. plan there. Very cool. cool. Oh, we, we got a mic. Oh, oh perfect. Okay. okay. So that we can hear him. Oh, we can hear him. Hello. Hello. I'm gonna hold the microphone. Right. Is this, is this good? Sure. Great. Hold right next to your ear. It's good for me. I don't know if they can hear me or not. <laughs> 
Um, so yeah, I don't know if they heard what we were talking about earlier, but um, this is still my first life in this playtest, so I feel like I'm having pretty good longevity. Uh, is that another player over there? Let's go see. So how have you typically been playing these playtests? I mean, I'm not far from you, I'm just over here, but I mean, are you one of the guys that runs around like uh, a Mr. Zimmerman we have here that just murders people, or are you typically try to... And help other guys. A couple times people have helped me out with resources and stuff that I needed, so that was always nice. Um, so looks like it's another player, so let's see if he's going to be friendly or if he's going to be aggressive. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> no, it's a zombie. Okay. So my strategy with the zombies often is to get them on fire, so they're taking a little damage to begin with. Um, I have a shaggy, which is a lot better than uh, actually starting out with now, just because the speed which you can attack. Your volume's too low. And we got it. All right, very cool. And something else I want to point out there, like uh, throughout the playtests we've shown so far and the gameplay footages, footages, footage we've shown, Beatage. we've footage. <laughs> I think it's a, that's the plural form of footage. I like it. Um, has pe people have had the torch? Um, something we've been talking about a lot. I mean, obviously with the ability to set people on fire. Uh, we'd like to avoid doing so. Fire is cool. Fire, fire is cool. Is cool. Don't, Don't get me wrong, but I mean, to start off with the ability to set people on fire is a little insane. So uh, we've talked about putting the uh, flashlights in various ways to implement that properly. My God, um, get a little bit closer hit him with that uh, at their fire, man. Got to get in his face. It's not looking good, man. Things are bad for our hero. <laughs> Things are bad for our hero. <laughs> Got him, but I'm pretty bad off. Let's see. Yeah, my health is low. Yeah, you're pretty low there. But you know, you're already on the on the right path to craft some bandages there. Yeah, all I need is some salt. <clears throat> all right, very very cool. cool. Thanks, John. Yeah, sure. If we could throw it back over to uh, those guys on that end, you can hear me, right? Hello. Hopefully, we can get over there.
So I just want to remind you, this is uh, Sony Online Entertainment stream of H1Z1 here at the Development Studio in San Diego, California. We'll be live today from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. I'm one of the game designers on the project, and what you're seeing here is pretty early on in development. Um, this uh, is really exciting for us to be able to do that because a lot of studios don't really get out there and do that. We've tried it with our other projects, and this one is really, we're just throwing it all out there. I want to let you guys know what it's like to develop certain features and this project as a whole. Um, right now, we have Paul Carrico, one of our game designers, running through the game and uh, just showing off a few of the features and trying to play himself. This is our typical daily play test. Uh, every day, we play once a day now uh, with the company. So we try to get as many people as we possibly can in internally to test all these features, server performance, and everything else. But um, outside of that, you want to tweet all your questions to hashtag H1Z1Design. And we're going to be grabbing the trending questions through there and answering them here on stream as well as or feel free to ask questions toward the uh, topic of the day, which is barricades. We put up a vote on Reddit for you guys to pick what feature you'd like to see us implement within 12 hours. And we have a couple stretch goals as well. But uh, the main goal here is to get socketing barricades working. So if you find a house somewhere you do like the position of or you just need to get away from a little bit and craft, you can do that, and that's our goal for today. A couple things you're seeing throughout the stream as I've been kind of watching here as Paul's playing. Um, the, a lot of the damage state stuff with the vehicle is still being worked out there. You saw him shoot a car earlier, and it just exploded. We're going for a little bit more realism than that, um, but currently that uh, is the way to deal with vehicles in our play test. So I just wanted to point a little bit of that out. And I've been watching chat back and forth. You guys are awesome. Uh, a lot of you guys are still in a fight with Moobot. One of these days we're going to have to tame Moobot, Tony. It's going to happen. That's right, man. We're going to fight. It's going to happen, me and Moobot. But we'll see you guys here in just a little bit with uh, probably got another good, I don't know, five more minutes of gameplay, and we'll try to jump into uh, the rest of our day. I want to also point out, last but not least, come by 12 to 5 p.m. today. Here pretty soon we'll start letting some players in, and you're more than welcome to sit down with us, chat with the developers, and be able to play the game. So it should be a lot of fun. We hope to see you guys down here.
<laughs> All right, uh, just here for the last few minutes of gameplay, uh, we had Paul switch over the hour. We do have a day-night cycle. It is in right now. It just takes a while to go through that. We want to show you guys kind of what to expect with uh, this particular time of day. Looks like he got killed there. Not a lot of fun. So, uh, Carico, I didn't catch the whole sequence of events there. Was Noah trying to run you over? Uh, he was probably mad that I shot his Jeep and blew up. Well, was he trying to like kill you, or did you just do it? Did you just do it arbitrarily. You're like, hey, yeah. why not? Just blow I, up a car. I didn't have anything to drink. So you didn't have anything to drink, so you figured you'd get it from Noah. Um, by the way, he's responsible for a lot of the web stuff. So what you see, as far as things being hid, uh, you guys got justice just there uh, for that difficult last one. We had to do something a little bit crazy on the web because you guys kept finding all of the things we hid within. Does anyone know? Like they were finding things within an hour at yes. first, like. Yes. It was insane. It was crazy. Yeah, you guys are seriously crazy. And it's really fun to watch the hive mind, like all you guys work on Reddit. It's really, really cool to see all that happen. But, um, you know, once again, we're going to be coming up on the end of the play test here pretty soon. Actually, let's see, what do we got in front of me? We have this fancy overview. Let's see how much of it we actually are uh, gonna gonna stick to here. It's just now about noon, so we're start letting some of the players who have decided to come by, or some of the fans of the game, come by and see it firsthand. Talk to us as developers and uh, really get a hands-on experience here at SOE. Once again, this is the San Diego studio. So if you happen to be in the area, feel free to swing by. Uh, we'd love to chat with you and show you what we're working on. Once again, we're all very excited, just as much as you guys are, to be working on this.